new sci-fi thriller, Orphan Black, premieres this Saturday on Space. I got to see it. It's amazing. Please welcome the lead actress, Tatiana Maslany. <laughs> This is a really, this is a great show. I just saw the pilot, so that's yeah. pretty amazing. Oh, awesome. And I understand it's been picked up by BBC America. That's important, too. Tell everybody why that's important. That's yeah, it's awesome. It's uh, BBC America's second original series after Copper, yeah. um, which is an also an awesome show. Uh, yeah, we're really, really excited to be part of BBCA and, yeah. and Space, too. We've got yes. great, great people working for us. Yeah. So, as I said, I got to see it well shot, shot here in Toronto. Yes. Yeah, yeah. and you have to explain what the story is all about. You have to really listen, because I'm watching this, I'm going, oh, my gosh. So, yeah. what, what is this all about? Yeah, it's, it's complicated. Um, so, it sort of follows my character, Sarah, who's a working-class girl from the U.K., who's been living over here for for, year, for her whole life, mostly. Yes. Um, and she's kind of trying to shut the door on, on quite a sordid past. Um, she's made a lot of mistakes. She's lived rough and is kind of trying to get back on the straight and narrow. Uh, and when she's at the train station, she witnesses uh, the suicide of a woman who looks identical to her. Dun, 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 dun. dun. <laughs> and then... And then what happens? Little does she know... Yeah. This isn't the only woman who looks exactly like her. So she sort of assumes the, this woman's identity and falls, you know, face first into this mystery about identity and who am I and yeah. who are these other women and, and what are we here clones. for. We're yeah. talking clones here. We're talking clones. And it's amazing. And at once, I thought, I thought I, for a second, I thought, does she have, a, do you have a twin? And are you, t like, it's like amazing as mm. you as an, as an individual oh. have a twin and it's all you. Yeah. It's all you. Yeah. So we have to see her in action. She's pretty amazing. Let's watch. Orphan Black. Here we go. And on that note, something really weird just happened at the train station. What? I saw a girl kill herself. You? A jumper? Yeah, and she looked exactly like me, Felix. What do you mean? Oh, you robbed her body? No, she left a bag on the platform. Isn't that essentially robbing her body? Okay, that's weird. Yeah, you think? Elizabeth Child. It's you with a nice haircut. And a nicer dress. What the hell, Fee? Did I have a twin sister? Okay, where did this accent come from? <laughs> so, I'll tell you, so well done. So when I thought, I thought, oh, she's a British actress. Okay, you're not at all. You're from Regina. So yeah. let's talk about... <laughs> so not talk British. About, I, I, so not British. So I thought you're from Regina. So Canadian. Yeah, Regina. <laughs> so then I'm watching this and I thought, okay, so Beth is from North America. Yeah. And Sarah is from England. Yeah. And then I thought to myself, what must have the auditions been like for you? Yeah, it was nuts. Nuts! Yeah, it was super fun. It was so much fun. I mean, the, the whole thing that made me salivate about this project was the fact that it was this challenge to play all these different characters, yeah, right? Yeah. So the audition process was me kind of getting up in front of all the intimidating execs, who are not so intimidating anymore, but at the time they were. Sure, and, sure they And, you know, are. kind of pulling on different little items of clothing or something that helped me make the shifts between all the characters. So. right. right. You know, it's kind of like being a kid and just being like, yeah, I'm an astronaut and now I'm a dinosaur and now I'm yeah, I'm your mother. You know what we, I mean? We have no fear of that when we're kids, right? No. We have no fear no. of that. But here's the thing. You do that. Like, that was for the audition. But throughout the day, you told me uh, earlier today on Chum FM, the, the morning show that I do, mm -hmm. that you, you change throughout the day these accents. And sometimes during a scene as well. Like, sometimes there'll be three of me in a scene. Yeah. Or two, you know, two of me in a scene. Right. So that's amazing. Yeah, it's very confusing. It's very confusing. So how and you have a dialect coach with yeah. you as well? Yeah. And so how much do you have to practice with that person? I, I would assume that some accents are better or easier for you to do than others. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, Sarah kind of became a little more second nature because I was in her for so often. Sure, sure. And uh, yeah, Jordan and I, who's amazing in the show, he's yeah. absolutely Felix, amazing. Felix? Felix. Yeah, he's terrific. Yeah, he plays my foster brother in he's it. He's so and great. We, we stayed pretty much in character on, on, on set yeah. the whole time when we were playing these characters because it just helps with 
maintaining the, the dialect. and Wow. Yeah. Well, it's an amazing show. I really liked it a lot. I just saw the pilot, so I can't wait to see the rest of it. Right. Now, you won a Gemini for Best Performance by an Actress in a Guest Dramatic Series for Flashpoint. Yeah. Congratulations oh, on that one. <laughs> like, this is an award-winning person. <laughs> so, you know... And doing doing a series, you know, this is your series now. But you know, guest starring too, you get to you kind of parachute in to a family that's already established. Yeah. Right. And so, did you did you enjoy that process? Because that'd be scary. That's all the new kids at school, right? Totally. Only, yeah. It's, it's that terrifying, horrible first day of school every time. Every, yeah, uh, that it is. Yeah. I don't know why I do it to myself. No, I. It's awesome. It's awesome because like the Flashpoint family is it's like right. so welcoming, and they're sure. not. They're not like, oh, who are you? They're yeah. like, cool, let's play, you know? Uh, but yeah, you for sure work on sets where it's so established. Yes. Because you have to. When you're working on a show, you become a bubble, and that's like your family, and that's your life. You see those people more than you see the people you live with. Because mm -hmm. you go home and you pass out dead asleep, mm -hmm. and then wake up at four in the morning to do it all over again. So you're kind of in the trenches with these people, you know? And yeah. that, that was the, it's the awesome and difficult thing, too, about working in this industry is that... Sure. It's you tough. make these bonds so fast, and yeah. then you're ripped apart. Yeah, yeah. it's amazing that yeah. you guys do what you do. Are yeah. we seeing you around Toronto then when you're shooting? We'll see you kind of passing by, or we'll see the trucks lined up? And We wrapped three okay. weeks ago, okay. so we were premiering on March 30th. Uh, so hope, I think you're seeing my eyes everywhere on the subway right now. Those are your eyes. Those are my eyes. You guys I are like, oh. I was wondering oh, whose okay. eyes those were. Yeah. Well, congratulations on this. And honestly, it's a great show. And Thank we wish you. you all the very best. And then we'll see you for season two. Yeah, hopefully. Because I know that's going to happen. Okay. Awesome. Tatiana. Thank you. Thank you so much. Orphan Black, as she mentioned, premieres this Saturday, 9 p.m. Eastern on Space. Just to take a break. We'll be right back. Okay.